Hey guys, it's CT in the garage. Check it out. Hey guys, today is pretty exciting. We are swapping the transmission out of the 65 Beetle because this transaxle, this transmission, isn't really capable of handling the power that we're gonna be sending to it with that really sweet engine that Darren built. So we're upgrading the transmission and we're also taking the chassis over to air-cooled Haas today and we're gonna put disc brakes on this chassis. So the 1965 Beetle is gonna have disc brakes in the front and the back. So it's gonna be pretty cool. Let's get this thing set up. Let's do it. It's been a while since we filmed in the garage. That's where it all started, guys. That tire's good. Guys, there it is. Let's do it. All right, guys, check it out. We are air cooled Haas, and today we're gonna put disc brakes on the 1965 VW Beetle chassis. It's gonna be awesome. I wonder what's under there. What's happening? Hey man, how's it going? Good. This is Dennis from Air Cooled Haas. All right, this is the chassis, 1965 VW Beetle chassis. We got it in here. We're gonna put disc brakes on the front, disc brakes on the back. I got a uh, new steering box from Air Cooled we might put on. And yeah, it's gonna be pretty sweet. So Dennis has already kind of started working on the uh, spindles and I'm gonna start working on the rear he's gonna give me something to do I guess but this shop's pretty cool how long you been here five years they do everything here engines restoration you've been in here about five years seven seven years wow it's pretty cool Pretty cool. It's right down the street from my house. Dennis actually lives in my neighborhood. It's pretty cool. All right, guys, let's get started on this. I think everybody needs one of these mobile 
lifts. Lifts. Is it made by Ideal? I don't know. They're different brands, but they sell. Ideal's that company that makes the wire strippers. Yeah. I wonder if that's a different Ideal. I think it's pretty cool. So you got the brakes from MP? Yeah. And we're talking about upgrading the master cylinder, right? Correct. When I use an FTE. German. Yeah. You get a German one. You don't want to mess around with the brakes, guys. That's a lot of gloves. Hey, what do you, you need a lot of gloves, man. <laughs> All right, cool. We got the GoPro running over there. We'll probably have some uh, time lapse going on. We'll get started. Let's do it. All right, guys, we're getting there. Getting the boots on. Got the spindles on. Getting the new brackets on for the disc brakes. It's gonna be sweet. Got the rotors in there and calipers. Oh yeah. We ended up putting a new tie rod on here. I guess the other one wasn't working for some reason. Not sure why, but uh, it didn't fit quite right. We're back at CT's garage. Got Dennis over here helping me put some finishing touches on the brake system. We've got the empty master cylinder that came with the kit and the reservoir. We're gonna use that for now and get it all hooked up, bleed the lines, and uh, take it for a drive. <laughs> we'll see, see what happens. this out the doctor is in this made in Germany I believe so <laughs> who knows these days everything is made in China I know <laughs> <laughs> all right guys we're getting ready to bleed the lines get all the air out of the brake system Dennis is uh, cracked open the bleeders right here they're all loose should start getting some 
fluid coming out of them soon. We need towels up there too? Yes. We got like a thing here. We're gonna try to push the air through, bleed the brakes. So the air is gonna go through there. Is that long? Yeah, enough? through there. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Perfect. All right, you ready? Nope. This is not how to. We're just we're just figuring this stuff out, guys. Yeah, we don't know anything. <laughs> you see anything? Got solid fluid through there? Not yet. three times, pump it three times, and at the third one, just hold it down. I hope not. Okay, this pumping. Yeah, I see movement of the piston here. When oh, you, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, I could feel it go down when you open that. Yeah, each yep. goes down. Right, let's do one more time. Doggy door. I, know. I was thinking to get to make on. one. I'm afraid something will crawl in at night time. Well, you can get a lock. You can lock it on the inside. Yeah. Knowing them at freaking 3 a.m., they run out barking and yelling and screaming at something. Yeah. All right. Go for it. 
on the front. See the bubbles in here. Yeah, the bubbling down there. Okay, go for it. Yeah, it's air. Yeah, you'd think you'd have fluid over there already, but. Yeah, it's air. Yeah. I guess you gotta push all the air out. do uh, a final you know yeah go all the way around yeah go all the way around again Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. feel that <laughs> <laughs> Feel it now. Mm -hmm. That's clean. So one more, just to double check. Okay. Yeah, it's clean. So there's no air on this side. Cool. So what we're gonna do is let it go. Let's adjust this one, the rod here. Get the Seen one, so and this one, up to. that one doesn't have one either. Yeah. It's weird. I don't remember taking them off. Then you have another, you know. You Thing's supposed to move. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the reason why you have two because when you do this, then you lock it, you yeah. lock it. You just have not, you know, you have play, but not this much, right? The thing is, like, if you over, you know, get the rod too much out when you're driving, 
the fluid overheated, you know, get hot and yeah. expands this, and then you're gonna get the brakes locked or your brake lights are gonna be constantly on. Right. If it's so too, you gotta have that. Normally, what I do is I I adjust it and test drive the car with 15 millimeter, you know, wrench. Mm -hmm. If I feel, if I press the clutch and I let it cast the car, and I, you know, it breaks, yeah. that means that it's getting, you know, too much pressure. So I just stop and release the the rod. That's so, cool. Until I get it to the sweet spot. Sweet spot. And it's not moving anymore. Yeah, kind of went to, he went to Woodstock. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Damn. And he still had the car that he went to Woodstock. What? Yeah. Nuh uh. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I'm like, geez, got pictures on their car and everything. Like, oh, that's cool. That's cool. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, that was what, 1960 something. Guys, we got the brakes on. Disc brakes are on. Everything is starting to come together. It's feeling uh, pretty cool. So, got some more stuff to do. We gotta install the uh, parking brake cables for the disc brakes, the handle, and lots of other stuff. Accelerator cable, clutch cable. I've got to get the brackets in here for the pedals. Put the accelerator pedal on. Get this bracket in here. A lot of little things got to be done and. Uh, do a, uh, an alignment on the front end, change out the steering box, and a couple of the hoses, a couple of the, uh, a couple of the um, brake lines are gonna get replaced at some point. But right now it's fine. Everything's hooked up and we're just testing it. Not a big deal if we have to drain it again and redo it, it's not a big deal. We'll get there. We just had a couple lines that were uh, not the right size. I didn't have the right size on a couple of them, so they were kind of messed up. And Dennis has this thing where he adds a, a longer cable here. Dennis adds a longer hose here because the kit only comes with a tiny one. And this allows you to drop the caliper in the future if you need to change the pads or whatever without bending the line. So that's kind of cool. I like that idea. And yeah, so the plan is to get that engine mounted on the transmission and get it all hooked up cables battery cable starter get everything hooked up put the seat on it the steering column 
we'll have to rig up the steering column somehow and uh, get the engine on there, start it, and see if we can take it for a little test drive in the neighborhood and just test everything out, see how it's running, see how it's feeling, adjust the alignment, adjust the brakes, and just tweak on it here and there while it's here at the house. And while that's here, I can kind of mess around with it while it's here. At the same time, I'll be going out to the farm, finishing up the metal work, and at some point, the chassis and the body are gonna to come together. I would say in about a few weeks, hopefully, if everything goes well, uh, I gotta get some more welding gas and a few more bits of metal, and we should be good to go. But this is gonna be pretty exciting. Uh, it's kinda of cool to be back in the garage working on stuff. It's been a while. Um, we kinda, of, you know, kinda of been doing most of the work out of the farm, but felt pretty cool to be back in the garage getting some stuff done. I appreciate Dennis over at Air Cooled Hoss for helping me out with the disc brakes. That was really cool. I appreciate it, buddy. And uh, more to come with Air Cooled Hoss. We're gonna go over there and check out Rusty, see what Rusty's up to. Rusty's getting some stuff done and get an update on that. It's gonna be pretty awesome. All right, guys, stay tuned. I'm gonna start putting this on. You'll see this in the next video, hopefully running and driving down the road. All right, guys, see ya.